moment. Hey guys. Alright, here's the situation. It is Thursday. And we I am doing a video on my skincare. I want to talk about all the skincare I have. I have new skincare that I got in PR that I threw the boxes away and put them here. Two different sets. And I need to put them in here in the back of my skincare drawer. And if you can see behind me over here, I'm sorry. The drawer is messy because we're going to go through everything. Now, any may any skincare in here, if I look at it and it says 2020, I'm going to declutter it today. And if it doesn't say 2020, I won't declutter it. If it says 2020 on down, I'm going to declutter it. Okay. I want to look at the expiration dates on some of these too because some of these could, could be, say, 2020. Uh, one or 2022, but they could already have expired. So I want to look at that as well. So while we're at it, let's get into it. First thing I want to talk about are is this um, J Lo Beauty that Fit Fresh Shake by J Lo. I'm a big huge J Lo fan. I know when I was married to my first husband, I had every J-Lo CD that ever came out, and then they started coming up missing. Um, I do know who took them, but I'm not going to worry about it. Eventually, I'll get the J-Lo CDs back again, but really, I'm not into CDs much, uh, not records or CDs, just the music on YouTube, so... Anyway, this is JLo Beauty Shake That Fresh. This is an eye cream here. Put this on the back. And I'm going to open it up. I love that they have these little things on it. Sometimes you get them and you feel it and it's like a little oily. And then others, it's not. Ah, I got it on me. Well, almost dropped it. It's like on my nose. I was smelling it. This is the eye cream here. I'm feeling it. It doesn't feel bad. It smells pretty good. Um, I was going to put some on my eye, but I'm really not ready to use it yet. But that's what it looks like. It's very good. I know. Very, very messy right now. But anyway, I love the little packages of these, and I'm actually, when those, these little creams are done, and I have these packages, I want to keep them, because I want to put, like, these are also breakable. I want to put, like, what do you consider, if I have, like, a little bit of foundation or, or blush put in here, and, like, have it or something. The next one is this JLo Beauty Gut Blockbuster. Um, this is a Wonder Cream Miracle. And it says on the bottom, it's still here, and it teaches you, but I want to show you. And I'm sure I've done videos on all this before, but this is something I'm doing. I'm trying to declutter some things. And again, we have that. And... Ooh. This smells like something my grandmother would put all over her face. I will say this much. If I was not married and my mother was still alive, I would be doing influencer and my mother and I would be having a field day with all this skincare. Now Guarantee me, I do have a daughter. She is my stepdaughter, but she's not into like makeup and all the skincare stuff like me. But if one of my boys would happen to be a girl, I would share with her. Now, my daughter in law 
She's into skincare, but not a lot like me. She more or less just puts lotion on her face and all over her body from Bath and Body Works. Um, I bought her some Bath and Body Works um, body wash lotions and stuff like that for her when she had my grandson and we went to go see her and I gave her all that and she was so excited to have it. She's not like that either, so maybe if my husband dies before me and I, because they already told me they wanted me to move in with them, I will say, hey, I got out of skincare. Let's do skincare together. And maybe she'll get with me and we can do some skincare. Okay, this is Titan Brighton. Yeah. Titan and Brighton. Doesn't have a thing on the back like that one, but this is Titan Brighton. And I love this little bottle. It looks like a glass jar, a glass with a pill, big capsule, a uh, pill capsule in it. Sorry about that, but this is a mosquito buggy. I just pull it off and it has a pump. I like skincare products with a pump. I was talking to my husband and I've seen it on TV and I've seen it advertised on a lot of people on TikTok. There's a, it's like a beauty blender, but it's not. And it's a thing you can use to put your skincare on, to put on your face without getting the skincare products like on your hands, like a mitten or something. I forget what it is, but it's cool. This is that overnight hustle. Um, this is um, resurface, removes, and restores your face. From wrinkles, um, what do you call them? Dark circles, wrinkles. I don't know if it helped with scars, because I don't know if y'all know this. Hmm. I know I have one. It's right up in here. I can show it. It's like right here. I have a scar. When I was in elementary school, I was in the fourth grade, and I got a wing worm right here on, the, on my nose. I got a big nose, I know. I got a witch nose. Like my mom, my mom had a big witch nose. We call them witchy noses. <laughs> but I had a scar there from a ringworm. And what's sad and sucked is I loved school and they sent me home for three days. I was I had to stay home from school for three days until that ringworm on there was gone. I remember other times, I don't know how many of y'all back in your school years got sent home for headlines. I got sent home three times in elementary school for headlines. When I was in junior high, um, I didn't know that there was some bad girls, nasty girls that were really rude to me. They decided one day... And I don't know what they did. One girl, I forget what her name was. Oh, let me play with your hair. Let me brush your hair and make you look pretty. I was like, okay. You know, she's wanting to be my friend. Instead, she teased my hair and made my hair look like a damn clown. Put on makeup on my face. Made me look like a clown. And the next you know, I had headlines. So I don't know if they had bugs in their hair. Or if somehow they found out somebody had bugs and they put bugs in my head. I remember in elementary school, I was in one of my classes. They had me in speech therapy. And I remember sitting in that class and I felt this big old bug on my neck and oh, so I took it and slung it on the, the boy in front of me and it landed in his hair. Talking about bugs now, I want to scratch. <laughs> but I've had headlights as an adult as well. When I was married to my ex-husband, I babysitted uh, a little girl that got headlights a lot. And didn't know you could put mayonnaise on your hair to get rid of headlights. Didn't know you could do baby oil on your hair and get rid of headlights. But anyway, I got it. I told my husband, I got bugs. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. When I was living with my mom and my dad, 
and my ex-husband, I had both. I don't want to blame him. Nobody wanted to blame me that I had both. When I was living with my husband. Now, I don't think we were married at the time. My stepdaughter had bugs, and then I got them from her, and her mom got rid of her bugs, and I bought the stuff to get rid of the bugs out of my hair, and we were good, and since then, we ain't had bugs. But anyway, this is supposed to be a good product, that's why I'm sorry this video is so long. It comes with a sprout as well. This video is going to be long. Um, we got this Ignacio. Collagen Boost Serum, Deeply, Target, and it has a pump as well. Then we have the Inacio Rose Ship um, Rose Ship Oil, Accuberry Antioxidant Oil, which I definitely can't wait to use that. I've been eyeballing it every time I get into my skincare drawer and just look at my skincare, my backup drawer, which is up there it's for skincare and everything. And I'm like, I want to use that. I want to take it and use it. But I have my elf one I need to finish first. This is a Nasio Collagen Booster. This is a night cream. You put it on your face at night. Um. I'm going to let y'all on a little secret. This stuff right here smells like dill pickle. It literally smells like a dill pickle. And I think it's the rose shimp. This one here, I think. Yeah, this one smells like wheatgrass. And let's see. I believe this one smells like cucumber. No, this one smells like dill pickle too. So I have two of them that smells like dill pickle and one that smells like wheatgrass. Alright, the next thing I have here I got in 2021. This is the AQUHA Rose AHA Alpha. Sulfur hydronic acid, hydronic acid, um, purifying and balance. This is a skin tonic, 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 skin tonic, kind of like a toner for your face to use by Med Health. And I have not used this yet, but you shake it up, it's going to look like that, and it's going to be perfect for your face. Of course, I have another one here, which I got in 2022, which is the Crepe Erase, mm -hmm. and I have one out already that I'm using, so I'm happy I have a backup, backup because this is like 50, I think 50 or 60 dollars for this. I'm gonna get. This next thing here is by is Hydration Turbo Booster B5 by Philosophy. Um, the other one I had, I stuffed in donation because I just did not like it. It wasn't doing nothing for my face. I have not tried this yet. It comes with a little spoon. I don't want to take it out of the box. But 100% um, tropical Pro Vitamin B5 powder. So I'm gonna make B5 technique. Some, the next thing is something else. Philosophy. We can all use a boost. Um, it's basically a powder. So I have. I will try it out. I will use it. I might even get rid of it. I don't even know if I'll use it. But I got this in 2021. So, like, products in 2021 are actually some of the products there that I definitely want to um, 2021 products. Are some of them, I'm checking expiration dates on a lot of this as I've been looking. 
This says for 24 months. I've had it past 24 months, but some skin care, some skin care can last a little bit long. This one here shows 2021 as well. And this is the Olay Regenerous Microscopy Eye Twirl. This is for your eyes. Now, I think in my next year's um, project pan, I think I have some skin care in there that I'm using to get rid of as well. This is Pond's Regenerous and Anti-Wrinkle Cream. And this doesn't have an expiration date on it, so, but it's like that. Um, we have this Equal Light Beauty Nighttime Firming Cream. Um, let's see. I don't see. I'll have to look later on expiration dates, but I don't see an expiration date. This is one of my favorite ones. This is collagen. This is by Global Beauty. And you can get these for a buck at Family Dollar. So. When I saw that, I was like, that that was awesome and cool to use. Now I have this Noxzema. And... I got this in 2021. Now it doesn't really have a expiration date on it. I don't see one. But I have a question. It smells like when I came up, but it shouldn't look like that. This looks yellowish, not white. I think it was white when I got it. I think it's bad, but I'm not for sure. But I think I want to buy me a new bottle and get rid of this one and throw it away. Then, of course, I have my new L'Oreal product that I bought. And I do, I didn't like this at first, but then I started falling in love with it. Then I bought these by Global Beauty. This is a vitamin C facial serum. Illuminates and smooths and regenerates your face. It is kind of, like, watery, so I'm kind of thinking this bad. But I probably will pick up another one of these. If my husband and I ever go to a dollar store, this is Holochronic Acid Facial Serum. Moisturize and renews and softens your face as well. And you can tell it does that, but I don't think any of my other bottles go like that unless the expiration date is used up. Let's see. I believe... If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think these are bad. These are certainly supposed to last up for six months. So I'll probably have to get some more of those. Yeah, six months. This one is Retinol Face Serum. Anti-aging skin repair serum for all skin types. Nourish, restores, and softens. I know those are those are bad. So if I buy the new ones, I'm going to get six months. I'm going to have to use them right away. Get some more of the skin care. Oh, let's get what I have left in here. So. Oh my god, and look, if you look inside here, there's a ladybug. Okay. I have this Olay Regenerous uh, Miracle Boost as well. I have this Olay Night of Olay. This is a firming night cream. And this is one of my favorites. Oh, I love Olay products. I love Olay skincare. I have this one. It's uh, producing rapid reduction serum. 
as well. Then we have this one by L'Oreal Collagen. Let's see if I can. Day and night. You can use this like during the day and night time as well. And then I have another one of these ponds. This is a generous anti-wrinkle cream. I love my ponds too. Two more to go. This one is ALO Glow System. This is AMLA Powdered Clean Beauty Luminase Face Moisturizing. And I like the little sign. If you look at the little sign here, it's holographic. So I like that. Let's see. It's cruelty. This is a cruelty free. This lasts up to 12 months. So a lot of this 2022 products I will be using. A lot of the 2021 products I will use too. This is the L Polyhydration Face Cream. And it's fragrance free. This one doesn't have one either. So, but I've heard many great things about the L product. Um, if you ain't subscribed to That's Just Tony XO, she highly recommended this. Paige has recommended it as well. Paige Corian has recommended that one as well. Alright, guys. So, I am tossing these three out because they're no good. And other than that, everything else is good. I'm going to put this stuff away. And I will definitely put put stuff away. And I'm going to end this video like this. If you like videos like this and you want me to keep on next year doing videos like this decluttering skincare and going through my skincare products and seeing what i want and do not want if you see a specific skincare product in here and you want me to test out on 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 here and tell you more in depth of it let me know in the description box until next time guys i love y'all and hope you have a blessed wonderful day bye